Welcome to your morning exercise to help yourself become more mentally fit. Um, this is a great exercise to help you reduce anxiety, to reduce stress, to manage your mind in situations where you need to be proactive instead of reactive. So let's begin. Taking one hand, place it on your stomach. And I'd like you to take three nice, slow, deep breaths so that your belly begins to expand as you breathe in. You're going to be doing this for around about a minute. And after you've done your first three big deep breaths, you're going to breathe at a normal pace down to the stomach. And as we did in the session, if your mind wanders at all to uh, thoughts, feelings or sounds, I'd like you to simply acknowledge where your mind has become distracted. That's just a thought. That's a feeling. That's a sound. And bring your attention back to your stomach. Remember that you can't have control over your mind if you're shallow breathing. So making yourself centered throughout your day has to become your top priority. For the next part of the exercise, we're going to move your attention back to your mind. And you're going to start watching for a minute as the observer what yourself, your ego shows you. Just like we did in this session. If you're unsure of how to step back and watch yourself or listen to yourself as the observer... I would like you just to count loudly inside your head from 1 to 10 and be aware of the one part of you that's listening and the one part of you that's counting. So the part that is listening is the observer and the part that is counting is your ego yourself. All you're going to do for this next minute is just listen and just watch to whatever your ego yourself shows you without judgment, without getting involved. If you find yourself getting involved and chatting away to yourself or getting caught up in the imagery, I'd like you to take a nice big deep breath down to the stomach and centre yourself once more. When we're centred, it's much easier to be the observer. And we're going to do this for around about a minute. Okay, now moving your attention from your mind back to your center again, back to your stomach. I would like you to become aware of your pause point. And the pause point is, as you take a nice big deep breath, become aware that when you're breathing out, at the end of your breath, just before you breathe back in, there's a bit of space and time, a bit of a pause point before you take that breath back in. And what I would like you to do is to allow your awareness to slip into that moment, that present moment, and just allow yourself to experience what it feels like for you. Don't hold it there for too long. Hold it there for as long as it's comfortable for you, and then just simply breathe back in. And we're going to do this for around about a minute. When you get to that pause point, allow your awareness just to be in that bit of space and time before you breathe back in. And then breathe back in when you're ready.
Okay, for the last part of this exercise, I'd like you to begin to bring into your mind some negative thoughts, whether it's inner dialogue or whether it's memories or predictions of the future. I'd like you just to become aware of a couple of things for me. Now, we may have explored within the session, do you get a sense of where the negative thoughts seem to originate from? For some of you, you're quite clear on what of the brain these thoughts seem to appear, imagery-wise, or where you can hear the dialogue. And this can be quite important in becoming aware of where your negativity and positivity originate from, so you can tell the difference, but also so you can work with it quite proactively. So the exercise for the next minute is basically to become aware of your negative thoughts, bring them into your mind, become aware of left or right, where they are originating from, and any feelings that come with the thoughts. Just breathe into and allow them to pass. All negative feelings come and go. Remember that no thought, no matter what it contains, is real. All thoughts are just thoughts. Something else that you can try is to let the thoughts simply drift behind you. As if the thought is simply just disappearing slowly at the back of the mind, becoming smaller and smaller. Another quick experiment is to see what happens when you move one thought, your negative thought, from one side to the other side of your mind. Do you get a sense of anything changing? And it's just having that awareness. Becoming curious as to what happens when you put thoughts behind you or you move it from one side to the other. And that's the end of your first morning exercise. I'd like you to practice this as much as you can. The more you practice it, the more it becomes a habit. The more it becomes a habit, the more naturally you'll have control over your mind in certain situations where you really would like to be more proactive instead of reactive. Any questions, any feedback, uh, please contact me. And I hope you enjoyed your first morning session.